Hello, it's Matthew here again with a new video, and this is actually the first video since I turned 50. Anyhow, today we're going to be talking about cassettes, and we're not talking about old cassettes or, um, you know, rare cassettes or new old stock or anything. We're just going to talk about ordinary bog standard tapes like this that you may want to reuse. Now, normally you can put a cassette in a cassette deck, you hit record, it erases what's on the tape beforehand and you can then just record whatever you like. But then sometimes you might only want to record a short amount of material onto a cassette. For example, if you're using recycled old cassettes for maybe making, I don't know, a limited edition demo tape or something like that. And recently I gave a box full of cassettes to a good friend of mine, Kevin Windsor in Exeter, who runs a, a music night called Music is Murder, which is kind of for sort of avant-garde experimental noise-based music. And he wanted to make a, a limited edition cassette to go on with one of these nights. So I gave him a box of 50, I think it was, TDK D90s. But the thing was, they all had music recorded on them. So when he was making these cassettes up, he had to record everything right to the end on each side of the cassette. Whereas if they'd been erased beforehand, then you could just record whatever it is you needed and then that would be it. And there wouldn't be any sort of old music or stuff at the end. Anyhow, I was in the budget supermarket Lidl last week when I saw this. And it's their own brand dual welding magnet. So what this is in essence is a big heavy magnet. Now, I need to warn you first, if you're doing anything that involves magnets, magnets are to tape what sandpaper is to records. You do not want to get a magnet anywhere near any kind of magnetic media that you think is important or not important. So if you're gonna store one of these, keep them as far away from your record and tape collection as possible. Um, probably a good place for me to store this would be out in the garden where I have a big plastic bin where I keep all my gardening tools. You know, somewhere that's gonna go nowhere near your media because this will destroy it. It might not destroy it to what we want it to do, which we'll explain in a minute, but it will cause significant damage. So that's my warning. Do not have these anywhere near any media. Anyhow, I'm going to take this out of the box because I haven't yet opened it. And by the way, I have nothing in my pockets today. There's no credit cards, no bank cards, no mobile phone, nothing. Because obviously, again, these things could cause severe damage. Now, this thing's actually rated at being able to hold 20 kilograms. So I would suspect that means these magnets are actually fairly chunky. And uh, this is what it looks like. It's just two big magnets. And I think the idea is that you um, you sort of put this on one bit of metal, this on another bit of metal, and it, and it keeps the two bits of metal in place. I've got a screwdriver down here. And let's see. Yeah, that's a pretty, pretty chunky magnet. Yeah. And it's chunky on all sides, so that's a chunky magnet. So the experiment we're going to do today is going to involve a cassette tape. Right then, I'm going to pop this cassette tape in the cassette deck here, and I'm just going to hit play. Okay, that clearly has music on it, so it's not blank. I'm going to take this cassette tape out. Here's our cassette tape, and here's our magnet, and I'm just going to run the magnet over the tape. As you can see, it's actually picking up the tape, and you know, it's actually spinning the wheels if you look carefully. So there's plenty of magnetism has gone over that tape. Let's pop that tape back in the deck, see what happens. And appears to be nothing there. If I turn the volume up on my amp, There's a very, very little bit of background noise, but in essence, there's nothing really there on the tape. I'm gonna turn the tape over now, because I believe this had music on the other side as well. Again, absolutely nothing. 
let's turn the tape back over to the original side because that was actually at the end of that side. I'm just going to hit rewind and we'll go back about 25 minutes and see how, um, how that lasts. But it does seem to me that this magnet actually has done the job and has erased this tape. Now this was a, a type one tape. So it's magnets generally do not erase metal tapes or type two chrome tapes. I mean, they, they, might, they might have a job. In fact, we'll try with a type two in a minute. But uh, saying so this is certainly um, a type one. That's the 10 minutes back. Yeah, completely blank. Just for a bit of fun then, here's a TDK Type 2 from the early 90s. I love these SF 90s. I think they're gorgeous looking cassettes. I'm just going to pop it into the deck and see what's on it. I think it's probably got a Queen album recorded. Yeah, so that's got audio on it. There we go then. Let's get the magnet out and we will magnetise the tape. See, this magnet has got a lot of strength. I'm going to turn it over. Yeah, it's funny actually. If you if you pull the magnet in a certain angle, it sort of turns the turns the hubs. So it's almost like it, well, I suppose it's working like a motor. Anyway, that's enough of that. That's probably more than we needed to do. Let's pop this back in the machine. I'm just going to fast forward it just a little bit, just because it did turn the hubs. There we go. Hit play. And you can tell it hasn't quite erased everything. Is coming in and going out. So if I take it out again and give it another dab, um, we see me doing it here. Try not to get this magnet too near the tape machines though, just to be safe. But yeah, so you've got two magnets here. It makes me wonder actually if you could almost bring them together like that and you know thread the tape through. I mean that might work as well as a as a demagnetizing kind of thing. Although I say it does make the tape spool out a bit, which is not good. So you probably want to get one of those old tape clips. Anyway, let's pop that back in and hit play again. Yeah, but it's almost wiped it, but you can see the, the VU meters popping in and out. So these magnets will wipe a Type 2, or they'll certainly get rid of most of the information on the tape, but with a Type 1, it's absolutely fine. Well, there we have it. This is our Type 1 bolt tape eraser that was £4.99, currently on offer in Lidl. Um, and I bought this myself, by the way. This isn't a, uh, a promoted video in any kind. I just saw this and thought it might do the job. Anyway, I'm going to keep this out here in the garden because I don't want it to mess up any of my tapes. Hope you've enjoyed this video. If you have, please like and subscribe, and I'll see you on the next one.